Okay, today we are talking about roof inspections and what to look for. So in facilities maintenance from time to time, you may need to perform a roof inspection, um, patch a leaky roof, get price quotes on a new roof, install new equipment on a roof, etc. So what should you be looking for during a roof inspection? And this is relatively universal, whether you're talking residential roofs, commercial roofs, etc. cetera. Um, are there signs of leakage from inside the building? Um, if there's an attic, like in a house, um, and you go up in the attic, do you see signs of leakage or animal infestation, uh, termites, etc.? Is there insulation that's missing or wet or moldy? Um, and then all your roof penetrations you want to see. Are your roof penetrations sealed properly? Uh, are the boots cracked or missing or damaged or ripped? Uh, look at all the equipment on the roof. Are there any issues? If there's an HVAC system, um, is it installed properly? Um, is there any cracks in the, the seams or the flashing around the equipment, around chimneys, etc.? Um, shingles, if you're looking at a shingled roof, are there mis missing shingles, cracked, damaged, uh, warped? Uh, is there any clogged roof drains, gutters, and downspouts? Are they missing? Are they loose? Uh, how many layers of roofing material do you see? Um, again, is there proper flashing on everything? Uh, proper drip edge? Does the roof deck feel solid under your feet while you're walking on it? Or is there spongy areas that feel soft or, or weak? Indicating a potential structural issue possibly. Uh, is there any missing, damaged, loose, or clogged roof vents? Uh, you know, there's several different types of roof vents, but are they clogged with the bird's nests or a uh, dead animal or leaves, twigs, trash, etc.? So here's some examples of roof penetrations. Again, these could be uh, plumbing vents that come up through the roof, could be exhaust vents, uh, could be exhaust fans, uh, HVAC equipment, uh, water cooling towers, etc. And you can see these ones are properly installed, uh, properly uh, sealed, and proper flashing. Uh, speaking of flashing, there's different types of flashing. Flashing can be made from different materials. Um, but again, the idea of flashing is it's trying to divert the water down off your roof toward the gutter system. Uh, so you can see in this image you got chimney flashing, valley flashing, vent pipe flashing, uh, window flashing. You can also see the gutters. So roof patching products. So in the event you have to patch a roof, there's several different products on the market made out of different type of materials. Uh, I personally use these products myself uh, in the industrial setting and they work well. But again, this is a temporary band-aid. It's not meant to be a permanent long-term fix. You can buy these at Lowe's, Home Depot, etc. Uh, roof coatings. So particularly if you apply a white roof coating in a, in a hot climate, it's going to help uh, reflect a lot of the sun's heat which will help keep the building cooler, excuse me, cooler in the summertime, reducing your energy bill and prolong or preserve the life of your roof. Uh, I personally have used this product on a small air compressor room and a small air handler roof, and it worked really well. Instead of having to replace the entire roof, we were able to clean the roof off and then apply this product, and it's worked great. Um, if you have a large roof, like you want to do your entire facility, uh, you probably want to have that contracted out to an outside uh, roofing contractor that knows what they're doing and can apply the product properly. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover.